We're in one of our nuke mating yards here at the Walmart yard. And the guys are doing oxalic acid treatment on these nukes. Um, these queen mating nukes that have been here all summer have been through three. Some of them have been through four brood breaks. So they don't have a lot of mites in them, but they have enough to where we feel like we got to do something. I don't want to give them Apigard. I don't want to shut them down. So we're going to do two treatments of oxalic acid vaporization. We're using Provaps. I'm not going to use that big bazooka tool we have on these little nukes. Um, today's Wednesday. We're going to do one treatment today. We'll wait five days. Next Monday we'll do another. And I think that will be ample for these nukes. We're giving them a heavy dose. Um, each nuke is getting two grams, which is going to seem extreme to some folks, but I've been watching the research on this stuff very closely. And uh, my t new take on this is that uh, you should be using three to four grams per deep box to get the right treatment with oxalic vaporization. So I consider these nukes a half box, so hence two grams per box. kind of a pain running these extension cords through all these weeds and sticks and little trees and things but um, the Provaps work on household current we have a generator on the truck I know there's uh, some real nice tools now the Laura B and others have uh, battery driven tools but uh, you go through the batteries pretty fast we got 350 to 400 nukes here. That's a lot of treatment. We're just going to stick with the Provaps for now because we can use them with the generator and we don't need the batteries. Seth's running two at a time. Loads a cap with two grams ahead of time while the tools are burning down the road there. And then when they're done, he will just move them up here. One person can keep two of these going at one time. Actually, I guess if you hustle, one person could probably keep three of these going at one time. The one gram scoop? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. helps to have extra caps so you can have a cap loaded and ready to go for the next round while um, it's burning in the current round. Again, we like using the household current so we don't burn through a bunch of batteries. I have a real nice generator, so this works out good. 
We were going to have six of these running together, but Selena couldn't come in today. Uh, tomorrow we'll have three people doing it. Have a real nice generator running this stuff, so no problem there. Easy peasy. That's right. <laughs> this will take him a little while. Again, I'm in the Walmart yard across the street from Walmart in Clayton, Georgia. This plant is called Cerisa Lespediza. I've pollinated it a few times. Um, the bees will work it if there's nothing else blooming. They don't do really well on it. When I pollinated it, I had like, I don't know, 60 colonies on several hundred acres. And the uh, bees really only gained five or six pounds for the whole duration they were there. And better than nothing, I guess. Keeps them stimulated a little bit. You see it along roadsides and on banks where they've just cut for new roadways and things like that. It came up here just on its own. I guess it snuck in from the roadside over there on 441. Fair amount of it in this location. The bees will work it just a little bit. <laughs> 